Failure is not an option. You've got to tell yourself, despite the circumstances, the situations, you have to tell yourself that, listen to me, I'm not going anywhere until I get to go. Like until I make my dreams become a reality, I'm not quitting. I don't care how much money I have to invest. I don't care how much time I have to invest. I'm going to continue to do this until I become successful. What I've realized over the 23 years of my life, it's not the physical body that holds us back. It's not the physical body that holds us back, but it's the mindset. The biggest disability you can have is a bad mindset. Tired don't mean nothing. Tired is only in the mind. You tell yourself you're tired, you're going to be tired. I don't get tired. While all my friends and people who I knew were out drinking and partying and enjoying life, what was I doing running fucking 10 miles down the road in the fucking rain or killing myself in a boxing gym? And then people say to me, you know what, you're lucky. I'm lucky because I can work all the hours that God gave me. I'm lucky because I can train so hard that I can't be beaten. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to confront you. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not. You're not going to keep procrastinating. I need you. You're not. Your biggest enemy is you. People don't understand it's you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. I was a soft kid. I was sensitive, I'd cry easy, and I would be scared to fist fight. And my mother used to tell me this thing, I don't even know if you remember, but you said this to me more than once. You said, son, sometimes you have to be a lion so you can be the lamb you really are. You should be a monster. You know, because everyone says, well, you should be harmless. You know, you, you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat and all of that. It's like, no, you should be a monster, an absolute monster. And then you should learn how to control it. Those who have swords and know how to use them, but keep them sheathed, will inherit the world. The only person that can hurt me is a friend. You have to be careful of your friend more so than people that you may think is your enemy. Everybody you fight is not your enemy, and anybody that helps you is not your friend. As a child, my parents always told me, you could be whatever you want to be, you could do whatever you want to do. He who says he can, and he who says he can't, are both usually right. You will have good days and you'll have bad days, but you will always learn something more or something new on bad days than good days. It's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be, all this stuff people say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And it takes being obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Small minds discuss other people, gossip. Good minds discuss events. Great minds discuss ideas. I stand before you without arms and legs, but a very strong man because of the bad days in my life. Unless you know three things. Number one, who are you and what your value is? Number two, what is your purpose here in life? And number three, what is your destiny when you're done here? If you don't know the answers of any of those three questions, you're more disabled than I.